God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. In splendor and majesty you are clothed, wrapped in light as in a robe. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. Above the rains you build your dwelling. You make the clouds your chariot. You walk on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, and flashing fire your servants. You founded the earth on its base, to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The waters stood higher than the mountains. At your threat they took to flight. At the voice of your thunder they fled. They rose over the mountains and flowed down to the place which you had appointed. You set limits they might not pass, lest they return to cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. They give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord our God, in splendor and majesty you are clothed, wrapped in light as in a robe. Alleluia. The Lord has brought forth bread from the earth, and wine to give warmth to men's hearts. Alleluia. From your dwelling you water the hills. Earth drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle, and the plants to serve man's needs. That he may bring forth bread from the earth, and wine to cheer man's heart, oil to make him glad and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord drink their fill, the cedars he planted on Lebanon. There the birds build their nests. On the treetop the stork has her home. The goats find a home on the mountains, and rabbits hide in the rocks. You made the moon to mark the months. The sun knows the time for its setting. When you spread the darkness, it is night, and all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, and ask their food from God. At the rising of the sun they steal away, and go to rest in their dens. Man goes forth to his work, to labor till evening falls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
The Lord has brought forth bread from the earth, and And wine to give warmth to men's hearts. Alleluia. The Lord looked upon all he had made, and saw that it was very good. Alleluia. How many are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea, vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting, living things great and small. The ships are moving there, and the monsters you made to play with. All of these look to you, to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your hand, they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. The mountains send forth smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord all my life. Make music to my God while I live. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Let sinners vanish from the earth, and the wicked exist no more. Bless the Lord my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord looked upon all he had made, and And saw saw that that it was very good. good. Alleluia. Blessed are your eyes, for they see God's works. And your ears, for they hear his words. From the book of Sirach, valiant leader was Joshua, son of Nun, assistant to Moses in the prophetic office, formed to be, as his name implies, the great savior of God's chosen ones, to punish the enemy and to win the inheritance for Israel. What glory was his when he raised his arm to brandish his javelin against the city? And who could withstand him when he fought the battles of the Lord? Did he not by his power stop the sun so that one day became two? He called upon the Most High God when his enemies beset him on all sides. And God Most High gave answer to him in hailstones of tremendous power, which he rained down upon the hostile army, till on the slope he destroyed the foe, that all the doomed nations might know that the Lord was watching over his people's battles. And because he was a devoted follower of God, and in Moses' lifetime showed himself loyal, he and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, when they opposed the rebel assembly, averted God's anger from the people and suppressed the wicked complaint. Because of this, they were the only two spared from the 600,000 infantry to lead the people into their inheritance, the land flowing with milk and honey. And the strength he gave to Caleb remained with him even in his old age, till he won his way onto the summits of the land. His family too received an inheritance, that all the people of Jacob might know how good it is to be a devoted follower of the Lord. He called upon the Most High God as his enemies pressed him on every side, 
And the great Lord answered his prayer with a violent rainstorm. Who could withstand such a man? Did he not by his power stop the sun? And the great Lord answered his prayer with a violent rainstorm. From the beginning of a letter to the Romans by St. Ignatius of Antioch, bishop and martyr. Ignatius, called Theophorus, to the church which has found mercy in the generosity of the Father on high and of Jesus Christ, his only Son, to the church which is loved and enlightened by the Father, who wills all that exists in accordance with the love of Jesus Christ our God, to the church which rules over the land of the Romans, a church worthy of God, worthy of honor and of praise, worthy to be called blessed, worthy to receive the answer to its prayer, pure and preeminent in love among Christian communities, observing the law of Christ and bearing the Father's name. I greet this church in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Father. To those who were in union, body and soul, with his every command, and filled inalienably with the grace of God, and cleansed wholly from all foreign stain, I wish every blameless joy in Jesus Christ our Lord. Through my prayers, I have been granted the favor of seeing you, my holy brothers, face to face, as indeed I have constantly asked. I now hope to embrace you as a prisoner in Christ Jesus, provided that it is God's will for me to be found worthy to the end. For a good start has been made, if only I may gain the grace to secure my prize without hindrance. For I fear that your love may harm me. It is easy for you to do as you wish, but hard for me to attain to God if you should not allow me to be martyred. I wish you to please God and not men, as indeed you are doing. I shall never again have such an opportunity to get to God, nor will you, if you keep silent, ever have the credit for a greater achievement. If you keep silent about me, I become a word of God. But if you love me in the flesh, I become a meaningless cry. Grant me no more than to be made a sacrifice to God while there is still an altar at hand. Thus you may form a choir of love and sing praise to the Father in Christ Jesus for so graciously summoning the Bishop of Syria from the sun's rising to come to the place of its setting. It is a fine thing for me to set with the sun, leaving the world and going to God, that I may rise in him. For me, life is Christ, death is gain. God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through it the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are God, we praise you. You, you are, are the Lord, Lord we, we acclaim, acclaim you. you. You are the Eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. 
Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray, God of wisdom and love, source of all good, Send your Spirit to teach us your truth and guide our actions in your way of peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. 